Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now we have Serbian Revolt! So good! Several groups of Serbian nationalists have severely damaged their infrastructure in Smyria, Vojvodina, and Western Banat. These include railways, bridges, and roads. If tensions with the Serbs keeps on rising, we might completely lose control of the territories. Oh, that is not good. But right now, we've already finished the status quo focus, but these guys are high, 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 high. That's not good, but we're going to stabilize the inflation next. A nice bit of inflation is not a bad thing. Hyperinflation is, though. We have to get rid of all that money circulating in the market and fast. The prices of bonds have been lowered and the interest rates cranked up to the maximum. Now we must wait to see the effects of these measures, which will help us with consumer goods factories, because my gosh, right now it's really just god-awful. Let's see, multi-ethnic empire is not bad. This national spirit causes different rise to trigger within the empire. So be it. Which we want to fix up. Uh, the, our house is pretty good. Vectors of the Valkyrie is not very good. Our stability is even worse. Uh, Hungarian opposition is pretty bad as well. It's not great, but not bad. But the effects of the Vienna stock market crash, 55 freaking percent for consumer goods factories. And stability goes down by 60%. Ugh. It just pains me. Between that, with the 55%, that was a Balkan leak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Um, with that, and then, yeah, the 5% for the Hungarian opposition, that is a total of 90%, I believe, or... Just look at that. 95. Oh my gosh, 95%. But on the initiative of Serbia, several countries have sent diplomats to Belgrade to discuss a new order in the Balkans during this meeting. The countries also formed a military alliance called the Balkan League. This is clearly aimed against our former ally of Bulgaria, of whom the countries have lost territory to in the Valkyrie. If we open the alliance our support for Bulgaria, it may keep the Balkan League from declaring war on them. Announce support for Bulgaria. Or they might just go piss, uh, piss us off, or we piss them off. So, let's see what happens when we do that, maybe. Uh, Romania's in the league. Yes, they are, which is not good. But that's okay. Oh, also, we are in Russia. I forgot about that. I completely forgot that we were in Russia. Well, uh, I think we'll be okay. They're not, they're not doing poorly at all. Uh, we have Passive of Sonar, which is nice. It's September 27th, 1937. Pretty good. Uh, grab second level of Sonar because you can. And if the game is lagging just a little bit, just because at the time of this recording, I'm actually having to process extra videos in the background. Sometimes I just run out of time during the day to process videos. So, Czech riots. Some gr groups of Czech nationals have severely damaged infrastructure in Bohemia. These include railways, bridges, and roads. The tensions with the Czechs keeps on rising. We might completely lose control of all the territories. Well, that's not good either. Why does everyone want to get high? Like, guys, can you just, like, cool it off? I'm, I'm trying the best for everyone here. I know the economy isn't great. But we're just trying our best, man. We're just trying our best. Trying to help everyone else out here. If we can stabilize the inflation, that'll help a lot of people out, you know? But after that, we gotta get more political power. Uh, development down there, Illyrian Sudban, Northern Railways Bohemia, Northern Railways Galicia, factories, factories. This stuff can all be ignored very quickly. Fulfill the Hungarian Compromise might be pretty good. Decrease the tension level with the Hungarians. We get more political power and stability, which is pretty nice. Rubber processing's done. Let's grab some oil processing, because we're definitely gonna need some of that. Some of that good stuff. Well, if you can help beat them up, might as well, right? I wonder if the Belgrade Pox is actually going to go to war with us. If that happens, hopefully we can take out Serbia quickly. But then again, anyone who's ever said that probably was not able to take them out quickly enough. Just because we're really focusing around them a lot. Especially they're probably focusing on the Serbs or the Bulgarians, I mean, a lot as well. So we'll see what happens. Shippies, peace conference is over. Oh, and I think France went to war with Algerians. So it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, the Algerian Socialist Republic. Collective ethos, huh? Croatian rights, basically the same things as we said earlier, so... Why does everyone have to be high? Croats, why, guys, why? What is this? Decreases tension levels. Well, that'd be nice. Alright, what is this? Protect truck check rural industry. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I can't do anything about political power, so we're kind of screwed right now. Stabilizing inflation is pretty, probably a pretty smart idea. And we'll throw you guys over here as well. If we end up in a civil war, so be it. Fulfill Hungarian compromise. Let's go do this. We'll be removed after 165 days. I'd love to come down here to get more stability, but... We've got to at least lower tensions with somebody, right? Or just 
greater autonomy, autonomy within Cisleitania. The region of Cisleitania, as also known as the Austrian half of the empire, has been fully integrated into the empire during the Ausgleich of 1867. While well, this might have been a good idea back then, and nowadays causes severe problems in those regions, by granting the regions within Cisleitania more independence within the empire, we can improve the stability within those regions. We remove the national spirit multi-ethnic empire. Uh, it sounds like we're just going to break up here, so obviously that's not very good. But we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens. I'm a little worried about that. I really don't want to break up the Empire. I don't like breaking up stuff. But hey, you know what? If we have to, we have to. Alright. Very nice. Let them attack us. I love light tanks. Oh. Well. Can I send volunteers? Ah, oh, we can. Can I send only two? Darn, that sucks. Because we got three here. And none of them are tanks. So... Those are garrisons. Actually, you know what? Let's send those mountaineers. How about that? Led by Julius Ringel. Oh. Oh, wait. Why did I say three? I need two. Duh, Mr. Mocha Lover. What is wrong with you? Don't ask. Don't ask what's wrong with me. It is what it is. Very good. Oh, we're gonna need more fuel. Um, I don't mind trading away for one more, maybe? We need some chromium, too. Thanks, America. Okay, no thanks, then. Romania? Uh, yeah. Why can't we send stuff? Oh, we're gonna consumer goods factories to send. Duh. Well, no thanks, America, then. Third Balkan War? The Balkans love exploding, which is fine with me. We love it when they explode. It keeps life interesting. Arabian League, eh? Yep, yeah, I might as well hold. Formation of the Iberian League. Things are just falling apart for everyone, aren't they? And, probably have some soldiers down there. Kind of still hanging out with their tanks over here. here. There we go. That's what we want to see. Led by, well, mm, let's go Zapper. Mr. Dude over here. Yeah, you could definitely use some help, probably, right? Most definitely, Edward von Boom Boom Emoli. Oops, my bad. I just hit my computer. Is it still recording? Let's hope it is. Ah, oh, that hurt my kneecap. Jesus Christ! I need to move this thing. My bad. Hope my kneecap isn't dead, but I'm sure it is. Wait, I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, regardless. Yeah, it sucks to be Bulgarian right now. Guys, can you move any slower? It probably could actually. Uh, man, you are really spread out trying to attack places, aren't you? How about there? It's almost October, or 1938, I mean. It's December currently, so we'll see what happens. We've got no extra fuel. And you guys actually are not getting attacked anymore, huh? Well, coming up here was a waste, then. See if you can help all these guys up here, though. Oh, Julius Ringel? Anything? Nope. I don't mind getting scavenger, maybe. Greater autonomy? Okay. The fellow Hungarian compromise. During most of the Ausg recent Ausgleich negotiations, we agreed upon many of the changes the Hungarians were willing to be see being made within the Empire. Now it is time to fulfill the promises we made towards the Hungarians. Very good. And when will that one be removed? Is this uh, 165 still 165? That's fine. Do you even have a single? Nope. Not even a single factorino. Wow. Uh, I recommend you guys go over there. Well, at least we're helping out right now. That's nice. Just don't lose Bulgaria too much. War in the desert. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, the Germans are helping out here, too. That's probably a smart idea. If anything, really... I mean, you could be anywhere across the line here, just helping out. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Now, I've got no fuel. But if the enemies have no lives... No lives, or weapons... Yeah, we'll do okay, then. I'll just let you guys do whatever, probably. Yeah, but the main goal is just to defend here. That was literally just the main goal. Defend, get a lot of XP, help Bulgaria out, bleed the Serbs dry. For the love of God, we gotta bleed them dry. Oh, you guys have no planning, so that's probably not gonna help you guys. Oh, uh, they actually, actually, let's focus on the capital, because then they'll capitulate once the capital is taken, I think. That's what happens when I took them out, too, so. Uh, oh, we have no more tensions. See, everyone loves us. Everyone loves us.
No tensions, no problems. We are the most stable nation in Europe, maybe except for Germany. You heard it here first. Austria-Hungary, United States of Austria-Hungary, super stable, no problems. Fake news for those who say that it is not the most stable nation. So down with those people. That's all I gotta say. Without fuel, can we still win? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe no. Yes, yes, Messi. Yes, no, no. Okay, never mind. All right, we did it. Improvement towards equality. We get more political power. That's actually not too bad. Oh, we get more my power. Let's do improvement towards equality. In order to truly make a diverse nation great, we must accept the wishes of the people and give them more autonomy within their zones. It's clear that there will be no compromising on this issue, so we might as well go ahead with it before we have to deal with rebellions. Get more political power, which would be nice. Get some more consumer goods, which would be even nicer. Oh boy, that's going to be a pain in the tuckus. But happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We're doing okay ourselves. Good lord. Sophia is a frontline city. That is not ideal. Well, Gira, you are just... Mm, you are between a rock and a hard place right now. Uh, please don't lose that tile. Please, 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 please. Oh, you just... Oh, jeez. I don't think Bulgaria can really survive this. I mean, if we get some, like, 100,000 divisions, yeah, that might be one thing, but... There you go. Ooh, you got in there just in time, hopefully. Hey, the Russian Civil War ended. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Pat's on the back. Pat's on the back. I really hope this is still recording. Oh, we could... Uh, I could probably double-check. All right, so we're still good, and that is not good. We tried our best, but we're going to lose the tile next to Sophia. That is actually really, really bad. Holy cow. I guess hold, but we're going to maybe get encircled. Oh, boy, that's not good. Let's get Romania more, hopefully more resistance, but it doesn't look like it. Where's our other top division? There they are. Actually, what what are on our mountaineers? I don't remember. Not much, apparently. Um... Good, we got soldiers are back from Europe. From Europe, Russia. Nice. Uh, more divisions, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we don't have a big army. That's not good. Oh, if you want to help out, yeah, definitely help out here. Can I send you guys any more people to help out? New. No. All right, so we cleaned them up. We got improvements towards equality. Let's go equal education opportunities, and then duels and revitalize for more daily political power. Surrender limit, justify war goals times, ideology, drift defense, democracy support, and daily political power. Or more political power. Now that the nation is united once again, well, there's no reason to not educate the masses. With a more educated populace, we will be pushed to an, into an era of technological growth. Nice. And boy, they do be attacking like crazy. We have enough artillery for them anyways, huh? It just seems like we never have enough for anything. Never have enough of anything. Uh, nothing there that's really interesting. Oh, yeah, I'd like to go there. But army XP would be really good as well. But construction. Ooh, I'm just gonna go here. That's, we can already do that immediately, so. We still can't do anything about that, which really sucks. But actually, we're able to push in, huh? That sucks. Uh, you guys are getting attacked quite a bit. I don't like how much you guys are getting attacked. Uh, Franz Boom. Oh, adaptable. Yes, please. I love that one. Uh, Mashuki Kingdom's gone. How are they doing over in the Ottoman Empire? Not great. Not great. Uh, you guys are doing... Oh, both of you are here, too. Wow. Ringo is learning to become an organizer and infantry leader as well. Not bad, not bad. How many people have died in this war? Not enough. No... Man, that's a that's a lot of dead people. Not nearly as much as we've seen before, but that's a lot of dead. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, we need coming army recruitment. So, Gemeinsam Arme, Gemeinsam Arme, or common army is the main concept of the monarchy's Bavafneten Macht or armed power. It is the largest and best equipped part of the army, with its recruits coming from all the corners of Austria-Hungary. Better surrender limit, which is nice, and slightly more population, which is of course always welcome. Please don't lose there. Tripolitania's gone. Bye-bye, Tripolitania. Goodbye. Seems like a pretty hard nation to play as if you really wanted to play as them. I don't mind doing improving working conditions, though. That'd be kind of probably smart. Let's do that one, too. Now, if the worst comes to worst, I'll probably end up probably... Oh, I'll see. 
Russian Republic, they still might want to kill us off, so... They actually, that's in their focus tree since I have played them once. God, you guys keep on losing. That sucks. Uh, but, eh, you know, don't move. We'll probably, if things go to worse, we'll try to do the best we can here and kill off the Russians first. And then maybe take out the Germans if they can't take out the Communist France. We'll see what happens. I, I have no idea. I really have no idea. Um, Bulgaria, I think the goal is just to hold. So, good luck. They're going to need it. They're absolutely going to need it. Hopefully we can get a partial... Ah, getting a partial mobilization would not be bad. Uh, very nice. That'll help us out immediately. And anything else here? We need to throw some stuff on divisions. Land doctrine. Let's grab some delay doctrine. Oh, well, yes. The fifth research slot is so nice to have. Incredibly nice. Oh, my goodness. Anything else here? Not really. Air stuff. Not really. Air doctrine wouldn't be bad. We don't have enough army XP for me to really care about it, though. Um... Torpedoes wouldn't even be bad. Uh, we could probably grab that. Why not? We do have a few subbies, and helping them out would probably be a smart idea. And you guys got to be learning a lot, right? Organizer, infantry leader, trickster. Is this a core of Serbia? As a claim. So if you abandon it, they'll take a lot more resistance, which is actually pretty smart to do. Uh, we can do the special forces since we do have mountaineers already technically in the field. Artillery is doing a lot better, though. Woof. Oh man, they're attacking with a lot of dudes. How much manpower do these guys have? Overhaul narrow, ra narrow gauge railways. Well, they have a good amount. They're on limited conscription. Limited conscription. Very good amount, actually. And they all have a good limited amount, as Bulgaria is on extensive and trying to hold out. Oof. Partial. We gotta go partial now. Nice, we're actually building stuff. After this, duels and revitalize. By granting greater autonomy in Cisleitania, we finally solved our severe inequality problems within the Empire. At long last, we can revitalize our dualism with Hungary and the glory of our Empire. Yeah, no crown on solution here for right now. Not yet. Not today. Maybe next time. Probably not. I might just go full autocratic next time. And have a good time with it. Nice. Okay, Mountaineers, you guys are currently in the battles, so I'm going to... Mm, yeah, you really should have Engineers on you. Engineers are just one of the core tenants, I think, in just any division. Always put Engineers, because they help you with fighting over rivers eventually. If not, immediately. Oh, they might encircle us, which is not good. Uh, what do we want? Military police could be pretty good as well. But do we have the industry for it? That's a real question. If we lose here, I've got to retreat immediately. Yeah, we, we can't afford to lose this place. If we lose here, then we lose all of that one division, which is not ideal. Alright, good luck. Good luck, Arenos. Dualism revitalized. Hungarian compromise, eh? So be it. Okay, so after this one, we could do this stuff, but railroads and infrastructure is okay, and I love it, but... Yeah, Kaiser's father had decreases tensions. Well, we have no more tensions. They all love us. We'll do some careful investments so we get some more consumer goods factories. And stability and cap and growth and output. Oh, that'd be so nice. Now that we've started to recover from the initial hits of the stock market crash, we should probably carefully invest our resources to keep up with the pace of the recovery. We probably should, but there's no guarantee that we should. Or even reasons why. Why are you down here? That literally makes no sense. You guys get over here too. But you're still getting attacked. Man. The Romanians must be out of equipment. Hold on. Can we see how much equipment they have? They, we probably can. But then again, if we take... They, they took this little tower. They're taking more resistance, which is nice. Who knows? Maybe Bulgaria will actually be able to win. Oh, wow. They actually went to extensive. Uh, no. No. Oh, uh, there goes China. Magnet detonators will be very nice to see what, what happens with that stuff. I'm going to go and grab some firefighting drills. So the ships we have, which are kind of garbage, just don't immediately die when they're in this ocean. Cool. And there goes those people. I got place China, too. They have a unique focus tree. But careful investments it is. Nice. Yeah, that'll help out. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Yeah, we might as well, since we're using them. And we'll be using them quite a bit, probably in this campaign anyways. Uh, where's that other division? Get over here. No, no, you dangerous. Don't attack them. Don't be dumb like that. Look at that political power, though. Oh, I love it. Um, uh, land doctrine, land doctrine, land doctrine. Nice. And then maybe Captain of Industry? I really don't know. Are we going to go to war with anyone early on? Daily democracy support. We can probably grab that. Guanzi clique. Guanxi clique. Oh, boy. Yeah, help out right here. 
There you go. Um, go on back, boys. If anything, you guys go high. I can help out China, but I don't feel like it right now. You're gonna go right there. What was our stockpile like? We need more guns. Artillery's looking not too bad, actually. Nice. Support equipment looking not great, but hey, it's it's there. Good lord, you gotta be learning a lot. 18, 18, 19. Go and retreat for now. They are going just nuts trying to kill off Bulgaria. What? Why do you hate Bulgaria so much? Just because you hate them normally doesn't mean you have to hate them now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my face just sneezed Reno. So I did ask you guys yesterday regarding this focus stream whether we should go with Skoda. Was it Skoda? Or we should go with Oscar down there. But I'm not going to tell you yet. I will reveal that to you when we get down there by the and hopefully of this episode. We get more light and heart light attack or soft attack and heart attack. Nice. Cost tanks a little bit more, but that's alright. Like I see the Valkyrie has to get removed eventually, but look at that manpower. I love mobilizing. That's not looking good. Man, they're these guys are paying literally tooth and nail. Fighting tooth and nail. And these guys are paying in blood. Very heavily. It'd be a shame if I threw another division in. Uh, I would like to get more stability for now. It hurts our output, helps hurts our factories, but we need more stability. The effects of the Vienna stock market crash are just so god bad words to fear. Oh. We gotta use he, this guy even though he's really, he's not that great in terms of learning. So, he's an old dude. What did you expect? He's not a young whippersnapper. Wow. That is insane. How many divisions are attacking? Special forces are nice. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna go grab this. Just get more output, please. Nice. How many How many are dead here? Ooh, nice. Careful investments. Two, oh, a quarter million versus like 150,000 or something, if I read that correctly. Wow. Well, I love dualism. Agricultural subsidies? The agricultural sector was one of the first sectors that got hit very hard by the Depression. By supporting them with subsidies, we can prevent more farmers from going bankrupt. Sounds like a good idea. Maybe we should stop trading these ships all the time, though. They're probably already pretty darn experienced, so. Looking not too bad. And I'll throw you on the smallest group right there. There you go. That's not good. Hey, we're getting a little bit more fuel. Nice. Wow, you guys are having a little bit of a problem up here. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's going back up. Yeah, like this is some intense fighting. I would be very surprised to see if these guys are not out of equipment. We can't really tell, but I'd be very surprised if we could see it. Oh, Bulgaria's... Well, I don't know what Bulgaria's up to. Like, like they'll lose land to the Serbs. They'll lose land to the Romanians. But anyone else to the Greeks? Like, push them over. Uh, I would advise you going this way, actually, instead. You don't want to lose that towel. Even though it would help shore up defenses, but that's a really good spot to defend from mountains and forts and stuff like that. There you go. Military place is nice. Um, logistics? Since we're here, we might as well, right? We might as well. We need way more guns, though. Armored cars we're making, which is not bad. Yeah, fighting rush is going to be a little bit difficult. Hmm. Oh, both the divisions are here now. Oh, their division actually just went bye-bye. You guys haven't circled them, kind of, but you didn't take the ports. Yeah, you guys are going to need the... Oh, this would be good to do. That actually would probably be really good to do. Don't get encircled, please. For the love of God, please do not. Uh, I probably want to go Captain of Industry, but war support, that's 29% now. We could probably use more, honestly, just in the preparation for, ne for later on. Nice. The end of the economic depression. After many months of chaos within the Austro-Hungarian society and politics, we finally recovered from the Vienna stock market crash. You get more stability, which you get less consumer goods factories, which is good. More construction speed, more efficiency cap, more product efficiency growth, factory output, dockyard output for a whole year. That's it? Is that seriously it? Um... Can I get more than that? I like this. This is really nice. Can I get 1.37, which isn't much? Um, I, I suppose oh, it does remove it, and you get just a flat 20% stability. So that'll help our stability out by quite a bit. Helps with the construction speed, output. Stability is so important. I've said that a few times before, but it, it really is just incredibly important to have. Uh, would it be possible now to edit one more thing on here? No. Big sadness. 
Big, big sadness. Uh, is there anything else we could do with this instead? Do we have any support companies? Let's reset this. Well, we have some support companies. Uh, field hospitals actually would be is probably a smart thing to do, even though I would love to throw some light tanks on. Which we do have some. That would give us a little bit of armor. They might be able to pierce us, but that does give us some more recon. Uh, we're not losing that many guys yet, and getting recon and would probably be pretty nice. Did that actually help us fight in the jungles? Or the desert? Okay, yeah, why not? Oh, we would actually lose too many tanks, though. Uh, let's do this one. Do we have enough for that? No, we don't, but that's alright. Uh, yeah, you guys go right there. I wonder how long we can make this war last. Well, not long enough, obviously. Oh, where are you? What the heck are you doing? What the barnacles are you doing, son? What are you doing? Go, no, go over there. No, no, no. Why'd you shift the line around, son? No, 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 no. So this is taking a while, but there's not really much for us literally to do. Um, so getting involved in other people's affairs is probably the best thing to do. Uh oh. Well, the Ottoman Empire got cucked again. Same thing that happened in my Russian Republic campaign. Begin the recovery, master the state. Maybe we'll play some someday. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's almost 39. Grab some better guns. Pin A incident. Nice. Uh, he's learning. He's going to be in the Hills Fighter, too. Where did the guy go? Oh, there you are. But my goodness, how many men have we lost in this expedition? Almost 14,000. Wow. I'm glad I threw in those companies. Oof. Uh, go low, go high. That'd probably be a smart thing to do. Uh, go in there, too. Well, that sucks. Please don't lose Sophia. How can they keep fighting us like this? Let's grab some more construction. <laughs> yes. 13. Wow, we're only a 13 man. That. I mean, I know we own Vienna, and we were the biggest stock market probably in the world, but holy crap, that really just ruined us. <sighs> Ferdinand, how are you holding out? Oh, you almost had it, boys. Um, that's not good. That's really not good. Head on in. Serbia. I mean,. They're on extensive, and they have only that much manpower, 82,000. Are they mobilizing? No, they're not. At least as far as we know. Well, Greece doing a good job against Greece, though. So, go figure. Why are you attacking? Like, I don't understand. Sometimes they just randomly attack for some reason. Don't, don't really understand why, but... And, uh, oh, thank God we got rid of it. Thank goodness. All right, so we pretty much did all this. Oh, look at that. Reassure our Balkan... Oh. Okay, while we were momentarily weakened by the Vienna stock market crash, we were still a major power with the spheres of influence over the Balkans. We should express to the surrounding nations that we are willing to defend that influence. We can buy Albania and... Oh! Oh, God, I should have realized that before. It might be too late to save them. Hey, you got... Oh, look at that stability. Look at that war support. That's very nice. Very nice. Resource-wise, we're still doing pretty okay, actually. Still doing pretty darn okay. What do we have for these guys? Offense, defense, entrenchment. Speed? Eh. I'm going to give you guys you know, more time to get more organization. Uh, how about over here? Artillery, I like that. Infantry, though, yeah, i got to go with infantry no matter what for this. But in the meantime, we're just going to go for Captain of Industry so we can build, 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 build. For the love of the Lord, we must build for our nation. Build, 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 build. 70% is pretty good as long as Germany doesn't try to attack us. Lombardy, that's a lot of infrastructure there. That is beautiful. Maybe instead we should also build up some of that too. And also build up a lot of roads. Because where we're headed, we'll be trucking a lot of places. I think I'm using medium tanks in this campaign, or is it just light tanks? I don't know. Probably medium tanks in this one. I don't want to do heavy tanks. Heavy tanks cost a lot. We don't really have the industry for that and everything else I want to, so. Um, Ukraine? I don't know if... Yeah, you're probably going to get taken out eventually by the Russians, so I'll probably do this first. Whee! There you go. Good luck. Uh-oh. Uh well, that's not good. Then again, I didn't send any planes to these guys, too, so... 
I did some planes with these guys over here, though. Um, where are our planes? Oh. Let's see you over here. Are right, you guys... I don't see what happens. Do they have enemy... Mm -hmm. They don't have any planes? Oh, not bad. Not bad. I kind of like it. I like it when the enemies don't have planes. Keep those stukas in the air. We're going to have a great time. Hey, look. He's becoming an urban assault specialist, too. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, no. Bulgaria, no. You got part of your army trapped. No. <laughs> no. Oh, those poor fools. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. How sad. But we probably all figured this was going to happen eventually. More fighters? How about you train? Cool. At 39. So let's grab some more entrenchments, shall we? We can use that immediately. Maybe we should make some more artillery. Actually, we should research more artillery. Oh, good lord. This is really not good. Um, wow. We take Italy. We take Silesia. No, we're good. Western diplomacy. Uh, I'm kind of good on everything else for now. So let's not do that. Let's go Ooh, continue public works. Eh, get more stability, but we already have maxed out for now. Run industry. We're probably good at war with Japan, but I don't really care about fighting Japan. Let's do support the major corporations or companies. We should support major companies in their efforts to industrialize the nation. With, their, with our support, they will continue to create new jobs and open up new factorinos. Yeah, if we get cut off here, that's art divisions will die, which is actually a big no-no in my book, but whatever. Invite eight. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, they're not going to like this. They are really... Why can't I make... i got to squeeze so hard on my mouse. Ah! There you go. Nice. Lothar, done a great job so far. Uh, probably right here. And then we'll invite him in and see what we can do. Hey, look at that. Free factories. Nice. Guns. Gonna steal for now, so. Guns. Trucks. Some pretty good stuff, I'd say. Yeah, more guns. More artillery. Actually, we're doing really, really well in artillery right now. Huh. Alright, let's so invite both. End Greece. <laughs> just, just end them. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, the Tsardom of Bulgaria agrees. The Bulgarian has let us know that the Tsardom of Bulgaria is looking forward to closer cooperation with the U.S. of Austria-Hungary. Austro-Hungarian Bulgarian Austro-Hungarian Bulgarian relations are off to a good start. We get political power. Oh, look at that! And Albania also agrees. The Albanians, or Bali Albanians, has let us know that the Albania is looking forward to closer cooperation with the United States of Austria-Hungary. Austro-Hungarian Bulgarian uh, Albanian relationships are off to a good start. We got free 50 political power. Who doesn't love that? Bad national daddyism. A radical socialism daddyism. Huh. Well, if we're at war. Oh, yeah, we can't send volunteers in. No, would you like us to join your little conflict? Would you like us to help you out, sir? I think they do want us to help them out. I love it. What a shame. They're. B Booties are wide open, and we're ready to smash right on in. <sighs> it feels good to be Austrian, doesn't it? Am I Austrian? I don't know. Oh, and America and Germany say, yeah, we love it. Invade. Oh, we took Belgrade. Look at that. Serbs got nothing on us. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, definitely with the men. So we just, okay, yeah, look at that. Now that's beautiful. They lost 400,000 men for literally nothing. We're literally just going to be walking into Bucharest or something like that. Walking. In, we already took Belgrade. Oh, I forgot about this stuff too. Um, the shippies. A uh, few of our ships may die, but that's a risk we're willing to take. Yep, there goes Romania, and we got the fuel. Hopefully, still. So. All right then. There goes Serbia. Hey, more political power. Nice. Can we actually... Oh, we can't get up there. That sucks. We could probably raise our conscription level. Eh, financial expert wouldn't be bad. Eh, that's not bad either. Eh, anything else here? Oh, Austro Daimler. I love it. Thank you, devs, if you're so, if you're watching this. Um, I love it when the developers actually have unique companies 
for their nations. I think that's it shows a level of care that the developers have for their mod. I think it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. Protect the local agriculture. Well, we didn't go that way, which is you know what happens. There it is. So it's support the major companies, huh? Austro Dalmar, so we can do that. Hurts the consumer goods factory, so maybe we'll wait on that one. Steyr, more, oh, more soft attack, yes. Oh, so, I mean, even though these are different names, and that actually probably is pretty historical. Steyr, I gotta go with more attack, right? We got to. Phoenix, I love it. Ah, uh, the Wiener Neustädtler, or Städter, Flugzeugwerke, Hansa Brandenburg, Austro Aviatic, Aviatic. Uh, I just don't, I want guns. As an American. We gotta get more guns. Oh, that's not too bad. That's actually really not too bad. Uh, oh, we still gotta kill these guys off too. That sucks. Um, shouldn't be too bad actually. Uh, just throw one army in there. You still have the mountaineers. So just kind of smash and smash and touch them and smash them. But mostly just smash them. Don't touch them too much. That might get you some weird stairs. And maybe some rightfully so weird, weird stairs. Uh, you should really just be able to win. Like, I'm not expecting too much of an issue down here. Because the Greeks, I mean, with overwhelming force, anyone will collapse. Okay, Bulgaria wins. But, alright, well, that's awkward. What happened to Romania? Um, okay. This is very weird. But, uh, you know what? We'll still enjoy it. Uh, would you like to join the war, son? No, you're still in the war. Ace by promote is nice. Um, there you go. Well? You lost. Oh, you're still in the alliance. Um... Oh, we need to get rid of the, the victors of the Valkyrie. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no? Okay, so, overall. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should also Dalmar or Skoda. And overall, there's a little bit more uh, support for us to choose. I should I should really get a snare drum roll for this. Skoda. So, by funding Czech tank companies, we'll be able to focus more on armor doctrines and upgrade our existing tank arenas. I love it. Uh, I love it. Uh, War propaganda. We could probably use that. Uh-oh. Uh oh, we actually lost two subs. That's not good. Wait, where are our big daddy ships? Yeah, you should be all around here too. Good. Sink them and stink them. Hey, look, people have been encircled. Nice. Sorry, Albany. I don't think you'll be getting all those landmarks that are down here. Just saying. Uh, yeah, excavations are nice. Hey, look at that! We sunk the battleship, an escort cruiser, nine destroyers, and a uh, other thing. And we sunk five more, five more destroyers, and a convoy, and another convoy. I love it. Oh, we actually lost our own Bulgarian convoys, but that's okay. We need some more fuel. We always need more fuel. I don't want to trade with those guys. Uh, you actually don't have that much. Ah, uh, eh, screw it, Russian Republic. Why not? There you go. And there you go. Alright. We did it. So, huh. Hmm, do I want Greece? Direct rule? I probably just puppet them, actually. So we'll give... Let's see, do, do they have any cores here? No. So, Bulgaria, you can have Greece. You can take all their states. Hopefully you can manage that. And I will take Romania, but I'm just going to puppet them. Uh, actually... Occupy puppet. Yeah, that's better to do. Because if you do anything else, that's not good. There you go. All right, we had our first kerfuffle, as Alex the Rambler would say. Oh, look at that guy. Arman, he's got a little black eye. Secure our borders, Carpathian Mountains. Lessons from the Balkan War. I love it. Strengthen our ties with... Well, they don't own that. They don't own Dobruja, so that's good. And they're not going to be in a faction with the Serbs, so that's good. Hopefully they don't rise up against us, because now they're our puppet, but... Uh, that's not good. But that's a thick Bulgaria. Look at that. The Tsardom of Bulgaria is looking real nice and thick. 
Oh, 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 I forgot. In this mod, it's I forgot to mention that uh, you cannot manually release nations, which is I think a big. This could be a potentially a big problem, but that that's probably that might just be me. Um, that's really actually really 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 not good, especially if you want to like. Do stuff for that. Honoring the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. Honoring him, yes. The assassination of Franz Ferdinand was a terrible thing that led to the loss of millions of lives. He was a great man, should be remembered for all he did for his country. By learning from what happened to him, we can make sure this thing, kind of thing doesn't happen again. Tensions are rising again? The South will rise again? Wait. Wrong, wrong uh, scenario here. Uh, you guys looking pretty nice. How are the Japanese treating you? Not too nicely. Can we actually send some volunteers to you? Because I'm there's not much around here, so. KMT? Oh, man. Chiang Kai Shaka looking so happy. He do be looking pretty happy. Uh, we'll put you over here. Uh, actually. Mm, I just take him. All right, not bad. Anyone spare we got around for air forces? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, Naval bombers, nice. Skoda's done. Love it. We love Skoda, don't we? Uh, boost weapons productions, consumer goods factories for 150 days, civilian factory construction speed, uh, industrial boom would be actually pretty nice to get, which doesn't last forever though, which is actually disappointing. Colonial investments might be pretty good to do as well. Begin infrastructure, 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 infrastructure. Well, let's go and do Legacy of the Valkyrie first, just because we probably want to do some reform. So, the Valkyrie showed the, world, the horrors that had never been seen before. It also showed our lack of an effective military. We must reform our military or else we will not be able to defend our empire from outside forces. Yeah, we're probably going to go down that way. So, reunite the Abe Oba Commando. Renewed militarism, which will be... That takes so long to get down there. Holy cow. 1939. Let's grab some... Field hospitals. Wow, we're looking actually pretty darn good. That's not bad. Tanks. You're not looking great. You're really just not looking great, I'll be honest. But we have enough to do this. Nothing enough to throw another one on. Nice. Oh. That's six, four, six, four, six, four, six, four. That's not bad. Throw on the tank recon, because, I mean, you literally might as well, since you're tanks. And throw on maintenance companies, so we don't lose nearly as many tanks. There you go. Not bad. Hey, they showed up. Nice job, guys. I hope Germany doesn't want to come kill us yet. All right, so you guys, very high. Um, ooh, that's not looking good. They are attacking for some reason, though. How's it looking down here? Guangzhou? Well, that's probably quite literally the major province that you only need to take. If there's not much else going on down there. They should be down there pretty quickly, though. Another division. Nice. Uh, got how much political power? 1.47. That's not bad. We did go not this one. We want... Actually, we can go whatever we want since we didn't go that one way. Uh, well, we can't do that one either, so... Electronics, reader... Da -da -da. Phoenix would be so nice to get. Tanks? Let's do tanks. Skoda? We did go Skoda, so... It's gonna cost a little bit more. But cool. Legacy of the Valkyrie. Let's go with the reforms in the army. Our army in the Valkyrie was atrocious. If we're not to be looked down on like before, we must re reform our army make them as an effective fighting force. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh. I should have helped out Turkmenistan, really. But hey, whatever. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're Garrison. That's right. Wow. Yeah, maybe y'all y'all should hold. Cool. Not really much else is going on down here. They're not really attacking us. They keep landing more soldiers here, which is not good. They are just really failing at trying to repel any sort of invasion. Which I may consider uh I don't know. They're just, they just look like I'm attacking like China. You don't have the resources to attack, maybe except for here. Which is good and all, but Overall, it's not always worth attacking like crazy. You should actually be able to win here, though, so. We'll see what happens. After this, the reforms in the army adopt mobile warfare. Traditional warfare, yeah, we gotta go with traditional warfare because since we done, went that way. Anyway, so, we shall modernize the tactics used in the Valkyrie. The tactics worked well before, and if we modernize them with a new reformed army, there's nothing else that can stop us. Well, crap, they just got the port back. Are you kidding me? That sucks. That really is god awful. Oh, never mind. They lost it. Nice. Immediately go in. Immediately. Do not give them any time to rest. 
because if you can just it's only three divisions but that's still three divisions they won't have which is a very good thing are they attacking yet no China's China you got a problem China, China's got a problem man I don't know if y'all knew this but China does have a slight problem <laughs> they love attacking too much Um, they seem to be expanding out this way, so maybe we'll help out here, too. Cool, and let's maybe read one more book before we end the episode, shall we? Ooh, more divisions, yes, please sign us up. And we shall go with artillery modernization, maximum fire support. Uh, I kind of want to do maybe artillery modernization. Well, companies like Skoda and Bola have been able to keep up with artillery development throughout the world thanks to foreign contracts. Most of our artillery dates from the Valkyrie. With the artillery being one of the most important pieces of military technology, the TMK is eager to replace the military's aging guns with the modern ones as we expand our arsenal. But I think that'll conclude us for today. We got into a little war for ourselves. We expanded ourselves quite a little bit, which was very nice. We're expanding our fuel, expanding our extraction. And I think the world's looking definitely okay for us, but maybe not for everyone else. But regardless, we'll end it here. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. I hope you like the look of the Dona Adria Pact. I think it looks pretty dashing ourselves, even though we could use more allies. And I will see you tomorrow, and we'll probably end up in a little, little war against the Moscow Alliance as we watch the Arabian League do stuff, as well as Humanité Uni, the Berlin Pact do stuff, the Commonwealth. And just watch the world collapse. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.